ID Professional House video tutorials. This tutorial will look at how to import our customers list, our inventory list, then our suppliers list. So in this stage, this is a new company. There's no inventory, there's no customer, and there's no vendor. So the first thing is to create everything in Excel. Even our Excel, we have the inventory list, we have the customer list, and we have the suppliers list. So note, to do that, to import, it must be in .csv format, excel.csv. So to make it simple, we first create one. Let's start with inventory. I'll first create one inventory. Once I create the inventory, the first rule is to create one, export. So once you export, you have the format. Then you now what? Fill in the gap, then import it back into the system. So that's how it works. So let's let's do it now. To create one, and to create one inventory item, I'll come to my inventory list. This is the first one. So I can and type the number one six seven seven zero two enter and the name is Sopopedia so control B then I'll select the stock item so then I can now save this so once I save this, I will now go to my system. It's not showing, so I will just click on refresh. So this now one has been created. So I have to make sure that all of those two are created with the system. This, this is our list. This is a, a very long list. So I don't need to be created one by one. I will just do what? I will export. So I will come to file. From file, I will come to select import and export then i'll come to inventory and i'll come to inventory item list so now go to what export i need to press export it to give me the format then i'll come to field from export fields i'll select show none so i only select two this is the two minutes that i need one two just select one two so i'm okay with that so I'll come to the options, include edit. When I export it, the default name is item.csv. I can also change it if I like to item abc. Now it's just it's always good to just maintain the it's always good to maintain the uh, the same name so that you don't need to be Worrying yourself, this is the default thing that it comes with. So let's maintain that. Let's say okay. Should not overwrite because I already have one there before. I say yes, overwrite it. So now, so by default, it goes to my document. So I come to my system, I come to document. From document, I'll select I. That's item. So this item. And this is the date that is uh, 28th of March 2017. So I'll open it. So you can see that there's one. So with this one, I want to now add the others. So I'll just come to my in my the full list. I'll come there. Escape now. I light. No matter how long it is, I just I light everything. My shift key and my and my down arrow key, so that I light everything that I need. So, no matter how long it is, I just copy and paste into the new Excel .csv format that I just created. This is 
951 so I'll not press copy so let me go to my now select paste value so I can select this one to make it number then reduce the the zero point so now let me now copy the item description also Now press my copy. Now go back to my own sheet. Now paste it. So I will now save. I'll click on save. Start asking me. Some features in your workbook might be lost if you save it as a CSV comma delimited. I will say just make sure that I select yes. So it must be in .csv as I mentioned earlier. So now to make it easier, I'll just go back to my import. My file from file, I'll select import. Okay, let me let me just do the down one again so that I'll come to file. I'll collect select import inventory. So once I select inventory, that I'll go to what inventory item. So now select before I select export. So now I want to import. I only have two now. I only have one. I want to now import the remaining and I say import. So I'll select what show none. So I only have two, two in my in the headings. There are just two headings that I have item ID and item description. So I'll come to I'll select just item ID and item description. Now say what include first rule heading. When I was exporting, I selected include heading. Importing, I'll select what first rule heading. So now select OK. I'll go back up and say OK. Yes, continue. So it's OK. Skip. Skip. Okay, let's do some ID for this. No item ID. Yeah, maybe there is blank. So I'll just keep on saying OK. So one oh, that does not have ID, you cannot import it. The one that has ID has been imported. So this one that was not important well, because of there was no ID. Let's see an example, just one example to understand what we are doing. Let's see one example. Anyone like this blank. So once there's no ID, so not imported. But all others will be imported. So like this, for example, it gave me the number 262. Two. So just make sure that you make sure that everything is at ID. Before you import, so now let me now see what I've imported. It's two, Abby. So now to confirm, I just click on what refresh. So it refresh now. I now come to what view all my item list. So we have what 900 and what 34. So it's very, very easy. You can see that everything has been what imported. So the same thing that we did for this inventory, that is the same way I go to do for our what the customers so let me do customers also this is my customers list so I'll first create one as usual I'll create one customer once I create one customer then I'll now import I'll export then I'll now import This is my customer list. Alfred. 
any type of way. No. It's called trade. Then control B. What shall I say? So with that, let me go back to my I'll click on refresh. So I already have one. So I can now export. You know, I said export. So I'll come to export, then I'll select customer list, then I'll select export, show none, one, two, just to make it simple, include heading, okay, overwrite, yes, so same way, come to our customer, under our documents, come to customer, Our customer, the customer. So I'll now include. I'll add the other customers. Shift, then my down key, Control C. Now paste it. Now click on Save. Dot CSV. Yes. Now now what? Import. So I'll come to my refresh. So we come to view list. That is thirty five. So there was no error. So let's do the last one, the supplier. So I'll create one. Let me close this. Maintain. Window. I'm done with customer, so I can close customer. So let me now create my the first supplier that is SPP you can use any code you 
0.001 then add it now click on save and set an account so that is I can select cost of sales save so before I import this let me just it's a particular default setting uh, come to my suppliers and vendor uh, select set up default information so you can see that this account is blank so I just put something there uh, that is like my purchases account I'm, I'm buying from my suppliers let's just put cost of sales so with that I think I should be good to go so uh, as usual I will export come to account payable vendor list export then show none the uh, vendor and vendor ID the options now select include headings now say ok variety yes so I want to now import I'll try to locate what I just exported. That is vendor. I'll select V. Just my vendor. I'll open it. Really have one. So I'll include the others. Then I'll add the mailing list. That is copy it once and for all. So I'll click on what? Save. Yes. Then vendor import. Show none. One, two. Include adding. Okay. Yes. So that's it. Refresh. So you can see all our list. One and seven. So everything is there. So that's how to import and export. For more inquiries, go to our website www.adifessional.com. Hope you enjoyed this video, and have a nice.